What's up guys, Shavali is here. Today we're going to be uh, trying to revamp the old beginner's guide into probably like three to five episodes into a, more of a series type of thing, which will include a uh, little bonuses as in the last series, like gems, uh, gold, pet draws, hero draws, nothing too great. It all totals up to like 300, uh, 300 like 400 gems, but it's pretty good. I mean, since usually not that many people enter, so we'll get to that a little bit later on. So, alright. So I got a new account here, right? I got the three general heroes, and I'm gonna try and go over mostly on what everything is. So if you've played this game before, this probably isn't the video for you. So, anyways, yeah. So you've made an account, alright, and you got through beating the little. The big red devil, Tyrannus, and they told you to equip these people, and now you're here. You got these dice over here. It's usually one of the things that sticks out to me whenever I first click on it. So this is basically just like a little freebie reward you get every four hours, I think. I'll check whenever this is done. I wouldn't recommend Roy rolling on this. You generally get okay rewards, gold keys, two star heroes, three to four star items, but sometimes you luck out, you get a four or five star. Best rolls on the table, like on the rare drop table will be three and uh, sixteen. And yeah, every four hours you get to roll this dice. You get to roll it twice a day for the daily quests, which we'll get to in a second. Some of this stuff you don't unlock until later. Event missions are rarely pop up, but you, uh, whenever if you go to the event tab and it says that there'll be an event there, which we'll go to that in a second, then this will be active. Special heroes every couple of days. Uh, the normal heroes in their Usually just four to six or six sometimes like where ends here is three star version, which that's irrelevant, but sometimes your normal heroes will get a thirty percent boost to all their stats, so that's pretty cool. The goblin merchant, he just sells random things like elimination tickets, auto repeats, some runes. The only really things you buy out of there, some hats that are worth buying are elimination tickets and auto repeats for gold. <clears throat> There's a lucky dice, Hermes Explorers, which lets you use your six star heroes and awakened heroes. To go explore to get free rewards, do, uh, rent gems, rubies, XP potions, which allow to level a hero up without doing any like scenario content. <clears throat> and we have the hero combination over here. I'm probably gonna go get to that. In a little... Nah, I don't know. This you won't worry about for a while. Whenever you're making a new account, but it's something to keep in mind. Here's some hit heroes in this area up here. They refresh every three days, so you could refresh it yourself for a gem cost and if you have certain heroes which the material this is over here in the bottom left corner if you look through this and it'll be a random combination of these type heroes and if you have those along with whatever it asks for for each little division like these are I would call these B grade yeah they actually call B grade yeah <laughs> of three four stars a five star item a four star item and a two star rune and as well as 50, 50k gold, right? No, 150k gold. And then the six star heroes are 800 gems and two fives, two fours, six star item and a three star rune. And then the S grade, which appear here, are two sixes, two fives, a three star rune, and a six star item you have to throw in there. Along with whenever this event, there's an event going on right now, so it kind of reduces that. 200 rubies is the normal. And then you can create that adding in those reagents along with 200 rubies, 800 gems, or 150k gold, depending on if you're going to take a uh, 6 star S grade, which just means that there are no lower versions, like there's not a 5 star version or a 4 star version, 800 gems for the 6 star heroes and 150k for the 5 star heroes. So if you're going around collecting heroes, um, it'd be best to try and save these heroes if you can, especially 4s and 5s. If you can combo something else that's not on this list and that you're not going to use, do that. Just in case it comes up and you're able to com combine something here that you'd like. Plus, it's achievements for combining stuff through there. The growth guide, which we'll go through in a second. Really good for beginners. Check in guide, you can check your progress on this. Every uh, day, you get to claim a reward here. Although, if you miss a day, because I believe it's. What is this? If you start a little late, they give you like two or three days leniency. Yeah, two days, right? Because oh, unless you log in every day, then you don't get the Hero Searcher Min, which is 270 rubies. 
And then here's where, if you get gem shards and ruby shards from Dimensional Gate, they'll be here, where you change those shards in for the respective gems and rubies. And this is the course of scenario mode, which I, oh no. <laughs> which I have not done the beginner's thing for yet. Hey, did you still force me to do this? Yes, you do. Well, I guess we're going to do this for a second. This is your tutorial on what to do here. Or their tutorial on my... With the Luna that they give you as, as the highest character. But technically, I think it's a four star. If you go into the shop, they, they catch you there and make you do a combo and get you a four star. But anyways, we're just going to get through this. As you can see, the on the bottom left hand is again for players that have uh already know how to play this game like i'm just trying to go over everything for the most part auto for your movement auto skills if you're autoing you're gonna leave for a while make sure auto skills on else when you come back you're probably gonna be dead because you do a lot less damage you know your skills uh go on by themselves and the top right or close to the top right there is where you click on that little icon whatever friend you brought in you can summon them for uh, odd amount of seconds. And then to the far left is the analog stick you use to control it. Go away, Rafina. Alright, let's go back. Check on the shop. There she is. And she'll tell you to do this draw. What will you get? It'll be a four star. There we go. Okay. Get out of here. Alright, we'll just start in the package tab. In case you're probably going to be exploring around, you can basically ignore all this. This is all, you know. But if you were going to pay money, one of the best deals is 28 days of gifts, gems. Those are boxes, kind of me. But 28 days of gifts, gems is pretty good. And the only other really decent one, like besides the subpar update packages that come along every update, is like a 29.99 package that activates when you get a certain level, and you have to increasingly get more account levels to unlock all the rewards. But that one. Besides that, the other ones aren't too great. And in the Heroes tab, we have Lucky Box, which you get from uh, receiving clovers from whatever or your friends. Like I said, that ten, each friend is 10 clovers every 12 hours. If they send on reset, it's around 12 hours. Anyways, it's around there. Yeah. If you want to see what you can get out of here, click on a little question mark. There you go. The 10x draw, the single draw, there's no real difference in it. Besides the fact that Premium Hero Draw gets a four-star hero guaranteed. Although technically, although you're never going to be that lucky, it takes a chance out. Like if you were going to roll, like for, for example, if you're really lucky, you could roll, if you're going to do 10 rolls on each. Because once you do one, it gets discounted by a certain percentage. So they're, they're roughly about the same. I think this one's cheaper if you're doing more than 10. I think. Anyways. This is a, what I'm about to say you can basically ignore. But... If you're going to do 10 rolls, and let's say you're going to roll 10 six stars in a row, which is never going to happen, but if it did happen, you roll 10 six star heroes, right? Off the single draw. If you were to use this, and it was the same scenario, you'd only get 9 six star heroes and 1 four star. But anyways, that's irrelevant. I usually just go with the 10x. Pet draw, you shouldn't really do. You get plenty of pets from Sky Island when you make it up there. And then these, which the other one unlocks at 20, you just do every once in a while for... Usually a one and two star, but sometimes you get the two or two off the one to three. Sometimes you get a three star, or even a four star. And the top right over here, or close to the top right, you have the rubies. See what you can buy for rubies. And if you need one, mins are here for 270. And everything that you spend here in gems and rubies goes to add to this little box over here. And once you have enough points, you can claim the box on whichever tier you want. Now, once you use those points, those points are depleted, so choose which one you'd like. It's probably best to say for seven, uh, 7200 and 14, like the SNA grade boxes, but eh. it's up to you which one you want to choose. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah I have 75 because gems are a one to one ratio. No, I didn't take, yeah, I did spend those, yeah. She just gave me the gems and then I spent them. And then 10 mileage points for every rubies you spend. So. Item draw, don't do this. Normal equip draw, rune draws, 
whenever you go to a little bit later on, get some awaken items, which you can actually purchase from here. If you just click draw, it's like not enough. Go buy, spin rubies. Get you some awaken draws. I'd recommend going the premium draws because they come with a guaranteed set effect. Keys. If you're gonna just go on like a super elimination ticket, which lets you do the dungeon immediately. Now you can do five at a time. Possibly 80 keys is worth, but once you run out of keys, if you try and do another dungeon, uh, each day you get two chances, or the first two chances you try and do that, you get 22 keys for 35 gems. So it's a much better deal. The next one is 49, which is still a better deal than this. And after that, I mean, you should try and if you're going to do key refreshes, just stick like two a day. 35 gems for 22 keys. Potions, not really worth here. Gold, a lot of people like buying gold, but you could save it for other things. And then these, not ever buy these. And a special hero shop, but some of them are kind of okay. Certain uh, random six stars you could buy in a weekend hero package. And the Avengers, oh yeah, that's another one that's pretty decent, the Avengers package. And then they have the other deals here. Anyways, get out of the shop. It's a bad place to go whenever you're first starting. <laughs> you'll see your new user check-in up here of different rewards you'll get through logging in each day. On day three, you get the awaken ticket. Random, not a selective. Along with, uh, you get your first selective on the first day, and then you get another selective on day seven. Two mins, and the other ones are good, but not overly great. Two mins. New message. And the stuff that they give you at the very beginning. Get your elim tickets. Auto repeat selective. That was from Lucky Dice. XP potion doubles all your XP from or to your minions when you're doing scenario. Some red hats to level up your heroes. I don't know. Else. 50 extra in each of the uh, tickets. So you get three right now. One from the ticket. Or the your 14 days of gifts. And one we're trying to like bring new players in so they get the extra selective. And this was from like one of the last updates. So this may or may not be here, depending on what time you're watching this video. But yeah, so they give you three selectives. Now, no matter how much you're going to want to pick those selectives, overall, it would probably be best to wait for your day three seven star hero draw ticket. And while you're doing this, if you want, you could just create three accounts on the same mobile device just to see what happens. That's up to you guys, or even more, because whenever you create an account, it's limited to three per device. Just to see, to kind of base it around what you're going to pick here. So let's click on the first one here. Like, we got Rami, we got Irene, and Para. Nope. Song, no. No, no, no. Nope. Nope. Possibly him. Nope. Poison is a fairy, I think. So. Because besides just going for, like, overall, like, all right, this hero's good. Better than these in most of the scenarios. You kind of want to try and pick up. Let's see if I can go here, at least just look at it. Yeah, okay. On these certain dungeons. Like, Hero Dungeon's easy. Like, half the game is built of Hero Dungeon. Or, Baldur Knights. Gold Dungeon, not as important. XP Dungeon is very useful, but not that important again. But every time you go to one of these, there's a chance of a goblin appearing, which will either drop ruby. If he's red, he'll drop uh, rubies. If he's blue, he'll drop uh, gem shards. So, that's, it's additive once you get to the higher stages. I mean, it's additive either way, but it's just more cumulative if you get to the higher stages which means upgrading and getting more of these heroes and Baldor Knights which you check in the hero book on what type they're from or wherever they're from Baldor Knights drama warriors the beasts uh, Twilight heroes fairies yeah, Twilight heroes demons are for the rune dungeon and these are for who for set event Let's just go check. Content, hero book. Holy Guardians of the Fairies. Twilight Heroes are for the item. Oh, the miscellaneous tab is for set item. Yeah, that's what it's called. Anyways, yeah. And throughout these, you get one to three stars. Different amounts of gold, XP potions, one to three star hats. Different set items. Can I check the crafting without... Anyways, yeah, different crafting, which aren't that really relevant right now. The only thing that would be good is Prophecy. And... Am I in Scenario? It's... Okay, I got confused, because as you can tell, the maps are exactly the same. 
Yeah, anyways. And then one of three star runes. Wait. I think it's one of three star runes. It might be a three star chance. But basically, you get one to two star runes. I think it's just ones for the early stages, and then two pops up. Yeah. And then the set items. Eh. It, different stages give different certain items, and then there's like two different or three different stages that give you a random. Like, it'll be this set, and then the next time you do it, okay, it'll be this set. But, again, that dungeon's not really relevant, relevant besides getting uh, Ruby and Dem Shards. Unless you just want to collect items, which I do. So. I'm one of those people. So. Yeah. And, left-hand corner over there is the event tab. You always want to check, no matter what time, like, you're starting to begin. Always check the event tab to see if anything applies. So, when you're starting, like, for example, you started now twice a day hot time event for gold and XP. Wouldn't be that relevant, but it would be kind of nice. Like, I mean, it's something. If you log in, if you're, like, awake during these times. But when you're starting off, you're not going to get that much gold from Scenario, so it's not too great for newer players right now, but for older players, it's okay. Depending on if you have enough elimination tickets, or if elimination tickets count, because I actually have fallen asleep the past two nights and have not been able to test if elimination tickets work during this doesn't say they don't, and usually it always says they don't, if they're not going to work. But, never know. But, uh, this one doesn't really apply to new players either. Not that much. So, the only one that's really taking effect here is Rafina. Which you basically just get points from doing things in the game. Arena, checking in, boss raid. And you dress her up, like in a Facebook game, and you get these rewards. And then after that, you can spend the points on little boxes of goodies. That's probably a pretty good summarization of that. So yeah, early off you get you level up pretty easily, then it starts to kind of you know, trek on there. But you'll level up, and your the max keys right now is 20. The golden like intervals are twos once you get to the later levels, like 12, 14, 16 is your max, and then eventually 20. Then over here we have the quest guide, which while you're going through progressing, doing what you're doing, doing the little different modes, testing out, trying out the game. Click on this little book over here and take a shortcut to what it's telling you to do. It'll give you rewards throughout what you're doing and kind of like take you through, walk you through the game and give you rewards uh, while you're doing it, or while it's doing it. And if you want to see what those rewards are, reward info, you just scroll down for the beginners, intermediate, advanced, and master boxes. Got them in down there. Okay. I haven't been here before. Okay, I don't know what that was about. But anyways, so you have three different teams. You can have this presets, and it tells you this is like who your leader is right now, which you did this whenever you first started. So like, all right, this is the person you're going to be walking around with, and these are the people's abilities you're going to be using. And they give you a portion of their stats to the leader whenever you're going in there. So like right now, I'm 557 and 1604. And you can tell what they do by skill, how much damage it does, and what its cooldown is, and what effect it does, what its chance on hitting with that skill effect, and then how much of its stats go to your leader in scenario. And this is how you upgrade heroes, feeding it lower level star monsters to increase its... Ah, I forgot, I was forced. To increase the hero's power level. That doesn't happen very often. Only when you start. And a couple times after. But let's go ahead and get that six star hero Today first. Is an easy day. I would have said it before, but I'd recommend not using any of these until you get to day three. So you can kind of base on what you're going to go off with your team based off what your awaken is. You've got a gift. Like, let's say, alright, I got Rama in here and Irene. And maybe Idris, which he's not really a good character, but he has CC. And decent support stats. So I always liked him. He's not great, but he's at like, he's under subpar, but he's cool, whatever. So Irene and Ramia, which picking them when you're first starting off isn't the best idea because they're S grade, and yeah, you get some selectives now, but these die out after you first start, so you're going to have trouble transcending, which transcending means just getting copies of the same hero, and up to a max, because right now you can level it up to level 30, but you need five extra copies of that hero to get to level 40. Which is a necessity if you're going to progress into the 
later game scenario and or arena arena for the most part so in this one we have no no yes it's gonna take too long no but is a fairy uh don't like you but you're okay got him again no cool and ramia again and we have no 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 cool cool no fairy and liz like we've got all these good heroes but when you're first starting off it's going to take a while to be able to do anything with them so for example if i would have gotten all right that pan who you see in uh, top 100 arena it takes a while to get in there but he's still like, a good hero he's a beast the gold dungeon and you can get his four and five star versions and he's a healer so you may want to pick like double ramia or try and like split it but splitting these s grade heroes which again do it like i'm probably going to do that because i mean i just like i like to have a variety but especially when you're first starting off you kind of want to try and focus on certain heroes like okay you, you could say okay i want to focus on ramia like i already got her to 32 and i have like another selective then what happens if you get another melee awaken? Like, if you get your awakened hero, like that's going to be your new leader. Then you're just kind of stuck with this S grade for whoever knows how long. And who knows when you're going to roll another one? And you can't rely on this because I mean you don't have you don't have that many heroes yet. Even if you like bought a bunch of gems and tried to roll, I mean you could say, all right, well I got all those Ramia, so I'll just get an awakened Ramia. But like, don't don't start a game and then spend like a hundred dollars on it just like. Especially like a mobile game, like give it a bit, and if you really like it, then go ahead. But like, don't just like, all right. Today is an easy day. Yeah. Anyways, so you get these tickets, day. and I'll probably leave a link in the description to one of my other videos. It was based off the old awakened, or these old selectives, because they used to only have like some of the older S grades. Again, heroes that don't have lower versions of themselves and most of yeah they didn't have s grades they just had the older s grades and then most of the a grade heroes which means they do have those lower versions and you can evolve them which evolving just means getting a four star or five star hero to plus seven like i got her to plus two by giving her lower fodder and then okay i was gonna this is only going to show me the combine option, but usually there'll be an evolve option, and you spend for four stars 50 rubies, for five stars 150 rubies to get that specific hero instead of a random hero out of all the heroes that they have available as of now. Oh, the equip tab for. Ah, I forgot the tutorial for this. Yeah. Items and stats and whatnot. I don't know. Get out of here. Where's that now? I was trying to thought. I got distracted by the tutorial. But I'm going to go over different aspects. This is more like the most general things I'm trying to get out of the way here. And then I'll go into more specific things. Like I'm trying to stay away from, all right, what's the best way to upgrade this five-star hero with what fodder? Like, that'll become later. Because I'm trying to be as descriptive as possible, but I don't know if I'm having that opposite effect. Yeah, different types for what you collected. Runes will come along whenever you get the higher difficulties in scenario. And accessories, armor, and weapons. You could increase this, but you don't really need that for a while. Really oft. Crafting, you worry about a lot later whenever you have reagents to craft certain items. Like that. But don't do this. Don't craft anything right now. You'll get plenty of items. And especially with three six stars, if you do choose to not wait immediately starting off or on day three you have an awakened and three six stars you'll be getting six star items so plenty so i wouldn't recommend buying any items or crafting any items early on you can craft items later to turn them into awakened items but not right now save your gold for upgrading and plus sevening your six stars upgrading your awaken getting new combos stuff like that don't worry too much about the items. They give you a hundred keys, ready to progress through whenever you collect that. I wouldn't recommend like save that for a little while. Just like go through with the keys that you have. 
I think I have 20 extra because when I first made this account, because every once a day, they come to us sends out like a random award, like a hero ticket, some keys, some gold, stuff like that. A pet draw. So I have some extra keys here. I think that's where I got those from. I might have missed it on this account, but yeah. So you can tell there's six areas here. And then you go to hard whenever you complete this. I look also at the last stage of each one, you get an extra reward. That's cool. And then once you get done with hard, you go to hell. And then once you go to hell, you get to go to Sky Island. And then once you're done with Sky Island, you get to go to Seal. But that comes later. You're going to worry about mostly Hermes, and then once you get your dudes leveled up, you'll probably be starting on to test out some Sky Island, which allows you to get pets instead of having to use that pet draw, which I do not recommend. And runes. Start by our massing runes up and runes are basically just extra items to boost your stats they boost your max hp max defense and they boost your defense attack and hp but you have to have upgrade levels to be able to use that what i mean by that is you have to have a six star hero or an awakened but well, six star hero at plus seven and then once it's at plus seven you have to use a copy of it or use a min and a min is this little chick with the book and the owl holding the scroll. And you can use her to get that hero to plus eight. And then progressively to plus nine and plus 10. And doing that costs 150K, 300K, and 450K respectively. And then it's plus 10. And each time you upgrade it, one of those levels, it allows you to put a rune on it. So for example, because, and then once it's plus 10, it can be awakened when you acquire a certain amount of reagents. When, like after getting that hero to plus 10. So for example, when you get the seven star hero ticket, that's already done for you. You can just go ahead and throw runes on it. And if you wanted to spin your rubies on awaken items, you could do that too, but probably not the best. Yeah, probably not the best, just not yet. Cause R and D says you're going to get subpar items. They're not going to help you too much, but it's still going to be good. But upgrade your hero and do other stuff first and possibly save those rubies for another min or boss raid getting into other things that I shouldn't be talking about in this video later. But anyway, you'll be able to equip runes onto that immediately once you get some runes. So yeah, each min allows it to do that. And mins or same copies are the only way you can get a hero to plus 8, plus 9, and plus 10 unless you buy an Awaken directly. Because it comes... No, technically if you bought an Awaken, it comes with three mins attached to it along with that hero because it's the hero plus the seven levels that you get through using lower level fodder and then three mins or same copies to get those eight, nine, and ten extreme levels. And awakening materials are stored in this little tab, which you unlock special dungeon some odd. I don't think I can check that here. Yeah, level 25. You can start doing that, which I will get this account to level 25 before I do go back into that. Because again, this is a series I'm kind of going to refresh over it because a lot of these things have changed since my last videos. So, kind of. I'm trying to summarize, but I feel like I'm rambling a little bit too much. But yeah, Arena. One of the main aspects of this game. You set your defense motivation. So, like, we got these people. Alright, whatever. And you can set their skill rotation. Like, I want this rabbit to go off first. There are certain strategies, but I'm not going to bother with this team right now. And then your pet you can equip with this team. And that's what your defending team is. Every time you win a defense, you gain like 12, 10 to 12 points. And every time you lose, you lose like six. And I can't beat any of these people because they have their six stars. I can beat this. All right, I have a four star. Let's go ahead. This is the attacking team, which is different than your defense team. All right, I understand. Let's go. Let's take down this other dude. And the different positions represent different positions they're going to be on the map. Which you'll learn once you just do a couple of readings. But. That's like a four. Random note on Arena. Once you're getting into it, trying to you know, figure out the best skill order and positions for your heroes. Do note that if, what, no matter what position, if you don't put a healer early, because whenever they need to heal, like if let's say, I don't have any healers right now, but let's say, okay, I had, let's pretend Luna is a healer and I had her 
over here. Okay. So Luna's over here, and she's a healer. And then, all right, we got this guy and this guy. All right, so she goes off, cool, then this guy goes off, but then she starts getting a little bit too damaged. The healer's uh, skill order is going to be forced to heal before this guy, even though I have it set here, because his health is at a certain amount where, okay, I should heal him. That That's in the game's AI that will happen. Just a random note. <laughs> but uh, I think I've gone over a decent amount for this video, at least. I'll probably have a little decent amount of other aspects. Oh, mailbox up here. I think, yeah, I've been here plenty of times, but this is the mailbox where you collect things. Usually, if there's going to be a daily gift, it'll be around here. In one of these tabs, depending on what they've given out. But I think I'm actually going to do what I said. I'm going to save these until I get that awaken ticket. It's going to be a St. Warrior Holy. I'm just going to be like, nah. Gonna, no. Okay. But, almost forgot about the, uh, the giveaway. I can't remember without opening up the email directly, but it's basically going to be like 100 gems like a hero draw and gold I think for the one I'm going to do this week maybe 200 gems 150 gems somewhere around there but anyways only five people get to do that for people that are new to the whole series thing and for that all you're going to have to do is type down in the comments below your hive ID so I can because that's the main necessity and so remember hive ID not this your Hive ID is what you use to log into the game. If you haven't made a Hive ID yet, stop that. They won't go to this tab. What the heck is that? Okay, anyways. If you haven't made a Hive ID yet, even though it's doing this again, they won't go to this tab. It'll go to, alright, you can log in and create something else. I don't know what that noise was, but I'm going to mute the music. Oh yeah, settings option. <laughs> Different little things you can do. Change your server. Uh, set your graphics to low and high. I'd recommend always putting target scavenger first, for the most part. And power saving, definitely, if you're on iOS or Android. Graphics low, just to save battery. I usually have the music and sound off. I just put it on for the video. Change sound here. Vibrate after battle. It will kill your battery life and little different push notifications so I mean it's not the best menu in the world but there's a couple options there that are useful and you can get to the global time you just hive thing what's that sound going now nope which one is it okay anyway okay that's gone I would like to do so I'm also gonna leave a link to, oh let me finish the giveaway thing okay anyways hive ID and if you're like, you just started the game and stuff like that. Uh, what do you like and dislike on initial impressions? And if you're just watching this video and you've already played this game, if you've created alt accounts and, like, this new setting where you get the awaken ticket, what's the best one you've rolled so far? So far, it's been rounding it for me. And okay, that's it for that. But if, in case you felt like it, there is a form site for Soul Seeker that you can either, you know, talk about the game and what you like and dislike, or participate in little random events. The rewards are usually subpar, but free stuff. Um, and a couple other things. There's little tabs over here off to the left. So I'll leave a link to that in, ah, a link to that in the description. And this is the Hive site, which if you want to change your password, change your info and whatnot, you log in through here, and you can get to it in to the in-game app. But if you just want to go to the website. And you can also change your picture. I did. It's not really relevant to any gameplay, but it'll change this picture up here. I put my, uh... Okay, something messed up with the sound. I'm just going to turn all the sound off. I hope it's not too loud. I did the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. No, 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 no. There we go. So anyways, giveaway, Hive ID, what your initial impressions of the game are if you're actually new. I mean, you can say that if you're, like, kind of old, too, but mainly, what uh, what's the best thing you pulled from any alt accounts? And if neither of those apply to you, something random, along with Hive ID if you'd like to enter the giveaway. But that's it for this episode. This is only going to be episode one, and I'm going to try and go into more and more detail as these episodes progress. Probably going to end off on episode three or episode five, around there, but we'll see. But I'd like to thank you guys for watching. 
I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.